yarn of these. It's me, it's Sandy. How are you? Ah, so guess what? I've got a few things to talk to you about. I probably got a lot more to talk to you about, but I haven't written anything down because I've been so focused on this. Hello. Um, and so I'm probably going to be all over the place. It's going to be a bit of a short video, but it's going to be an exciting one because um, of the things I'm going to talk to you about. <laughs> I'm really not doing that well on this right now. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, let's talk about this first. Get the elephant out of the room. This, oh, I'm so excited about this. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it pretty? Guys, this is the tutorial that you guys have been waiting for. I had asked you guys if you wanted to see a tutorial on the sweaters that I've been making and you all screamed, yes. So guess what? I did it. Finally, it's done. It's done. It's uploading right now. Uh, whew, it's been a bit, it's been a few days of, you know, trial and error and whatever. Uh, to, doing tutorials is not an easy task. Um, Crystal from Back a Day makes it look so bloody easy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, she's been doing it for quite a while and she's done hundreds of them. So, you know, I have not. <laughs> so, but it's done. Uh, so one of the big exciting pieces of this is that I have decided to make this a series. Okay. It's going to be called the Gemstone Series. All right. So each sweater that I make is going to be rep representative. <laughs> it's, it's going to be kind of like a gemstone. Okay. So this one, as you can see, is blues, different types of blues. This is actually blue, not black. Um, and so I decided to make this one um, represent the stone sodalite. Okay, so the tutorial is going to be is called Sodalite the Way. <laughs> okay, uh, and that is going to be uploaded this evening or this afternoon. As soon as it's uploaded here, I'm uploading it onto YouTube and it's going to be the first of a series. Okay, so I'm going to decide which gemstone I want to represent next and I'm going to do a sweater in coordination with that gemstone. Cool, eh? I thought so. So yeah, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and also... Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, which I've gotten a lot of new people since I hit 2000, I am so grateful. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, for those of you that don't know, down below in the description box, I have all of my links to, I have an Etsy page, a Facebook page. Uh, I have, um, what do I have? Oh, I've got my sister's. Etsy page on there, uh, the Kind Crow Creations. She has some stuff on her Etsy page that's for sale. She updated it. There's lots there. Uh, her and my niece. And um, so what I would like from you guys, when you do this sweater, I would like you to post a picture in my Facebook page to show me what you've done because I, I've done some tutorials in the past and people have said that they've done my tutorial, but I've never seen what you guys have created. So go to my Facebook page, join my Facebook page and show me because that excites me. That makes me, you know, so happy that you guys actually like what I'm making. And, uh, so yeah, I want to see. Okay. Okay. So that's number one. Uh, number two, my bad. I have dropped the ball on the sisterhood of the traveling hook. Oh, how could I drop the ball like that? I am so sorry, you guys. 
um, I used to do little video clips of the sisterhood of the traveling hook and where it is, where it's been and all that. And I haven't been doing that. Oh, <sighs> yeah, I'm, it was my bad. Okay. For those of you that are new, I started something called the sisterhood of the traveling hook. And it was basically for people that I am in love with furls hooks. Okay. Most of my hooks are furls hooks. Um, I started with the Odyssey hooks and then I, I started out, um, I ended basically with the Streamline Swirls. They are my all-time favorite hook. Okay, I've heard a lot of people haven't tried a hook from furls. So I started this travel Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook for YouTubers that haven't tried the hook. And I thought it would be the perfect way for them to video uh, their opening of the hook and video what they've made with the hook. The package consists of not only the hook, but a gift from me to say thank you for, for joining in on this. And it, they're stitch markers. And you get to choose one stitch marker and then pass on the rest. There's a journal inside and there's wipes in there, Clorox wipes in there that you can wipe down the hook and um, send it on to the next person. So I had a hook go to Australia and it came back. Uh, I've got that hook <laughs> and it has its little, it's still in its little bed <laughs> for all of you that know that saw that video and if you haven't seen that video go to my playlist and then you'll be able to see all the videos of the people that have gotten the hooks and um their reaction okay uh so anyways i'm so excited the last person that got the hook was kim from metal scrapping chick okay and uh the the next person that got it it, that has it right now is Marianne the crotchety clogger and she just posted a video she had no idea that that's what it was when she opened it that's why her video is not labeled sisterhood of the traveling hook because most of the people that get the hook they're supposed to put hashtag sisterhood of the traveling hook in their title uh, and she had no idea and I my bad I forgot to tell her it was coming. <laughs> so that was on me. Uh, so anyways, her reaction was priceless. Uh, so I'm going to leave that link in the playlist. Go check it out. And in they've got two weeks to make something with the hook and then send it on to the next person. So I'm looking forward to seeing what she's going to make. The next person after Marianne that gets the hook oh linda linda the uh just a crochet sister you're getting the hook next <laughs> ah! <laughs> so make sure that you know what you're gonna make <laughs> and pick out your yarn get ready sweetheart because it's gonna be coming soon okay so anyways yeah go check out that playlist and um help support those channels go to their channels subscribe hit the like button do all the things okay and uh yeah so whew, okay the next thing i want to talk about do you see this oh i'm so excited i when i got this i damn near cried um this sign this sign and oh, <laughs> this sign right here. Uh, these were all made um, by holy cow, I just saw whoop. Brenda, the newbie crocheter, her husband made these, and they are beautiful signs. They're absolutely stunning. This sign, oh, I just love this. Look at this up close. Can you see that up close? Okay. It's engraved. This is not painted on. Well, it, it's it's painted, but it's not. 
Uh, let's see if I can get it so that you guys can actually see. Can you see? It's engraved. Like this is all engraved into the wood. There. Can you see that? Uh, maybe. Snow maybe. Can you see that? Yeah. It's all engraved. And then he puts the um, coating of paint in there. I don't know how the heck he does that without getting this red paint and everything all over the place. But anyways, this whole thing is engraved. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, I've always wanted a sign that had my, my channel name on it and I never got one. Now I know why I was waiting for the right sign. And this was definitely it. I, I could not be happier with it. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, I told Brenda to give her husband a hug for me because man, I, I am impressed with this work. I really am. So yeah. Okay. Uh, another thing I want to talk to you guys about, and it's a little bit on a sad note. Um, April from, uh, be wowed by April, uh, by April Lee, be wowed by April Lee. I was wondering why she hadn't been on her channel for a while on YouTube. She kind of disappeared for a little bit and I was concerned uh, but you know, it's like everybody else, like, um, there's quite a few since COVID started that have kind of dropped off and we don't know what's happening or where they are. And we're a pretty close community. We like to keep track of everybody and kind of send them a message and say, Hey, how are you doing? Um, I actually was planning on sending April a message to see how she was doing. She's had a really rough go of it for the last couple of years. Various things have been happening to her. Um, she had a move. She moved and apparently she's going to be moving again. She just put up a video that broke my heart. Um, yeah. Wow. Um, April has been diagnosed with Bell's palsy. Uh, it was a shock when I saw her video and of course I cried. I, I just, my heart went out to her. She is in such good spirits. Like she wasn't while this was going on, of course. But when she put on her video, I was amazed at how upbeat she was and how she's just, she's just going to fight through this and good for you. Good for you. Um, she is in a rough spot. She really is. Um, since this started, she doesn't have the medical, uh, benefits that can sustain her medications that she needs her physiotherapy and her rent and bills. She's waiting for a disability. It hasn't come through yet. And she's scared to death that she's not going to be able to pay her rent. Um, so I told her that I was going to try and help. Uh, I'm still planning things and trying to work things out here, but I am thinking about selling off some of my makes and sending her the money to help pay some of these bills. I do not want to see her lose her place. Um, she is going to be moving at some point, but for right now, uh, I don't want her to have the hardship, um, of not being able to eat or not being able to pay her rent, uh, because of this thing that happened to her. Okay. Her money is going towards the medications, which I know are not going to be cheap. Um, 
and it's something that she needs to do. Like it, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. She has to have this medication. Okay. Uh, so I want to try and alleviate some of this by getting together some of my stuff that I've made and presenting it to you guys to see if you would like to purchase it and to help me help April. All right. Um, give me a few days to figure it out. Now that I've done this tutorial and it's out of the way, now I'm going to focus on um, some of the stuff. And uh, you guys tell me, what would you like to see? Um, what, is it sweaters? Is it shawls? Is it uh, hats? Is it um, amigurumis? Is it, well, you know, my amigurumi is very limited. Uh, but like, like, what would you like to see me sell uh, that you guys would be interested in purchasing? Okay. Um, and I, on my next video, I will hopefully have some things together. And if I can figure it out, maybe I'll do a live. I've been really not wanting to do lives because they freak me out. But everybody's telling me, just do a live. <laughs> so maybe I'll do a live and uh, and then I'll sell this, uh, this these items on there. Um, but I'll let you know ahead of time. Okay, that's it, guys. I think that's all I have for now. Okay. All right. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me and uh, have a great day. Okay. Bye.